What is everyone? My name is Degrono, and welcome back to some more Degrono Plays Paper Mario. Last episode, I think we made it back to Toad Town, and you're okay, Bombat? And found out that there's stuff going on, and we also explored the sewers. There's really nothing left for us to do. So, we get to start up the next chapter. I could go do some of, like, small stuff, but, eh. Mario, Mario, good to see you. What's up? We found out that you defeated Tapa Baba. Yeah, I knew you could do it. I just knew it. When we heard the news, the princess was very relieved. Oh yes, I got new information about the Honorable Star Spirit. Have you ever heard of a Shy Guy Story Box? I have not. One that uh, has been held there. But where, where on earth is the Shy Guy Story Box? I have no idea. Oh, time is short. I have to go back to Princess now. Good luck, Mario. And this Peach and I are always cheering you on. Now, I wonder actually how you're supposed to figure it out. We'll probably talk to everybody. Unless I miss it, I guess it'd be hot. Must be in a house, dig me? Yeah. Like, if you know where it is, it's right in here. No, it's not. It's actually this building right here. Maybe you do? I heard a rumor that Shy Guy is out hiding in someone's house in Togon. Here. Shy Guy. In Tower Town. Oh, rubbish. Maybe you will see something? I saw them. They just went into that empty house right there. Yeah, so basically you say, oh. But this is an empty house. Where can we go? What can we do? Awesome. Oh no, it's Mario. I never noticed that that could happen. Oh, also with Baron Pound, I never really mentioned this. I could bring this, like I got a thing up, but I'm not going for 100% for this game. That means getting every badge, getting every star piece, and all that. I'm not going to. Also, I don't know if I ever talked about this character, but this character will take two of your stats and decrease it by one level, and then put it into another stat. So I. Let's say you're level 1, you have like the 5 H is it 10 HP, 5 uh, FP, and then some, uh, BP, you can basically reduce your HP and throw it into uh, BP if you wanted to. Uh, but there's certain locations, I don't know if we'll, I could have sworn there's one over here. Maybe I'm thinking about Thousand Year Door and there's one like that. But when you ground pound, Sometimes these things will pop up, and you can ground pound them. And I think th I think there's one actually right here. I could have sworn there was one there, but we can find hidden locations and do that. Actually, how much star points do we have? Twenty, actually. Star pieces. I'm gonna do that real quick. Let's go to uh, actually grab some stuff. I completely forgot we can do this. We might not be able to do it because I have full items. Yeah, I still have everything. Let me go store these real quick and I'll see you guys in a second. And actually, I'll also see you at the... Whatchamacallit. Alright, back at Shooting Star Summit, we can go back into this house right here. I think actually there's one over here. I think it's... There's, I know there's one over here. I don't know, but there's one over there somewhere. Uh, but anyway, the things that we have from Peach, we can now grab them here. The Power Rush badge and the Deep Focus badge. But what we actually want to do is walk all the way up here and buy some badges. Building uh, Find is probably good. Pretty Lucky is also really good. Happy Heart and those. Actually, Happy Flower might be really good. Peekaboo is really good. Zap Tap is good. Money. Uh, money might be good. Flower State. These are. I might save actually for Power Plus and I'll think about it. Because 25 for an increase. But I think it costs like 5 BP to equip to it, which is fine. But. Definitely gonna uh, look into getting the. 
things. We need five more star pieces. So if I want to go out of my way to find five more, I could. I, uh, there are a hundred star pieces in the game. And there is a total of 50 Chuck Prisma coins. No, is it 50 and 100 quizzes? No, I think there's 100 star pieces and then there's 50 quizzes. Hence why this game has 150 star pieces, while in Paper Mario 2, there's only 100. In Paper Mario 1000 Adora, I started doing like a 100% playthrough and I got to chapter 7. And then, uh, that's just a problem I have with a lot of games. I'll get very far and then other things distract me and I just never go back to do it. I eat uh, Persona 4 twice. And uh, we're gonna bow out real quick. Because what we want to do is actually come in here. So we know that there is a shy game here. I'm going invisible. And eventually. You find a secret door and a toy box. It looks like something is inside. Chapter 4 Trials in the Toy Box. This is my second favorite chapter uh, in this game. Usually I walk here at a blue station, but since there's no train, I'm pretty much on a plane now. Okay. Alright, we have two ways we can go, and I think we have to actually go the right way. Which is right. This is just extra thing. Right, uh, I'm gonna equip... I hit it once, and then I don't think it pops up, so I hit it a second time. Alright, shy guys. This is why I like this ch uh, chapter, because I love shy guys. They're my favorite enemies of all time. Active Chapman attack power 2, defense 0. They occasionally do acrobatic attack that have a sub power. Attack power is 10. Now, each color doesn't count as a different character, so don't worry about that. So I don't have to get red shy guy, green shy guy, blue shy guy. So all shy guys. That's the acrobatic attack. Okay, I was waiting for the other thing, but oh well. Uh, we can change body members now, and since we have quick change, we don't have to worry about, uh, doing that. We can switch, do our ability, and boom. I did no damage because I screwed up the, uh, timing. That was my bad. But the weekend is here. Thank goodness. Today, this week was not hard at war. Okay, uh, just made a small cut there, just because I keep forgetting that I'm not allowed to really talk about war that much. But, yeah. These guys can make us dizzy, which is kind of annoying. I keep thinking you guys are going to do a different attack, and you guys don't. Uh, I'm just going to jump on these guys, actually. But, yeah. Uh, it was... This week has been kind of weird. Uh, aside from that, it's kind of normal. And I'm glad the weekend's here. Uh, as for next week, uh, we get a three-day weekend as a holiday. So we get the day off. Awesome. So three days to do stuff. 
I know before I came in here, I was talking about how like I'll play games and then get distracted, and I said Persona. Uh, I got I played Persona 4 up until the second to last dungeon. Now, if you don't count the extra stuff added to Golden. Oh, we're gonna hit this thing. But yeah, if you don't count things added to uh, Golden. And I guess the second to last dungeon. I'm not gonna say the character and stuff like that. This in case people who are watching this never played it and they plan on playing it. Oh, attack power. I'll take it, but I would rather use my spells on, uh, you know, other things. But anyway, uh, got to the second last dungeon, quit and just never touched it, and then came back to play it again. And. When I did, I end up beating the game, and I, I'm doing it again. I got to the third to last dungeon, uh, but we're gonna do it with this guy real quick. But we got to the third to last dungeon, and I haven't touched it since. Then. And I just, I'm like, it's just persona. I don't really care to do it at the moment. I'll come back and finish it later. Anyway, the reason why I'm gonna deal with these is because this guy has an item that we want to get. The other ones, like the fire flower and the cake mix, I really don't care that much for those, for the two reasons. Reason one, those are infinitely spawn. We can come, keep them, well, I think the cake mix as well. The other ones, I'm not sure. So if we want to get the cake mix later, we can just come here. What we want is the calculator. And again, I will deal with this guy later. I just don't like dealing with it right now because we just started the chapter. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, so comes something completely uh, random. Which I'll get into a second. Hold on. Bow, 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 bow. Boom, boom, boom. So the things you said to Peach in the end of the like, oh, what is Mario scared of? Yeah, perfect Mario hates his name, so he surely turned back. I, I think that doesn't look the sort of thing Mario, the bald Mario. Why do I actually trust what Peach says? Well, it doesn't matter. He has to order it, and he's the boss. Yeah, whatever you say is right here, and I was going to just do enemies so we can tile them now and not tile them later. But, yeah, I didn't do that anyway. Also, if you ground pound on these guys for a first attack. Okay, never mind. You can get that. But anyway, uh, this morning, technically, I started up playing. Oh, not playing. I was playing Maple Story, and I got my furthest achievement, which is. I got my third yard advancement. Okay, I will roll on HP. I'm gonna let you go first. Because if we don't block this next attack, we die. And that would be bad. I can have items, I just don't feel like using them apparently. I got my uh, six job advancement, which, by the way, the job transfer for six job is so freaking annoying. Oh, right, another new enemy. Okay, we just didn't get in a fight. This is not good. We have no health, and I really don't like dying. I do have a life shroom, so what I want to do is use a super shroom. I keep forgetting we have the refund badge. <laughs> and we're going to tattle the sky guy. This is a sky guy. This guy is a master balloon. Balloonist? I wish I had a balloon so I could float. That looks awesome. The China are the most coolest enemies. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why is the screen going black? Thanks for the defense. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna try to use Star Storm. I really don't like dealing with this. Oh, I am here to say. 
Oh, also, I started on my Dark Souls 2, not Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 1 playthrough. Not like a let's play or anything, that I'm just playing the game myself. And I'm enjoying it. I don't think anything is in here. No, wait, I know what this is for. Wait, no? Am I just getting something? Also, I remember there was something. I don't know if it was right there or it was back here. But I remember there was a star piece. And that's where it is. Right, item, item, item. I don't. Okay, I don't go in there. And here we go. I always like this. The, I will say the music though is not, not a one I would use. Like, yeah. Oh, no star piece. I'll take it. We need three more to be able to get the uh, power plus, which in this game is. Still useful, don't get me wrong. But it's a lot more better. This is okay, it's just this. Okay. I thought we got sent all the way back. I think it's the blue line. It is not. It's uh a little bit in the blue. Like right around here. Yeah. That's how you do that. I saw like two topics and I completely forgot most of them. I know I just talked about my first playthrough, but yeah, if you get this, just gotta mushroom. You don't have to actually have to fight him, buddy. Here comes storage room key. But yeah, I was talking about a lot of my playthrough for that maple story and all that, but nothing. Uh, most of the things that started, I kind of finished. Uh, but something else I started up recently is I started up Baku Man. Uh, a lot of fun, well, one of my favorite animes of all time and manga is Barking Man. I remember finding it completely ra randomly. Uh, the site you used to go to to watch anime, I know, illegally, but you know, we don't talk about that. Uh, was called, uh, Subbings. They also had a dub website that had all dubs called Dubbings. Cool website, they had this one thing where you can click random and it'll give you a random anime. And I clicked it and they showed it say, like, oh, Baku Man. And I was like, oh, a thing about making manga? That's kind of cool. I'll check it out. Watched it, fell in love with it. And I've seen, I've watched the anime 50 times. Anyway, if we come back to this guy with the calculator, I need that thing to calculate some cells, but I'm not a genius when it comes to. What is it? Here you go. Hey, buddy, isn't that my calculator? I mean, you could just buy a new one, but you know, whatever. Anyway, it gives us the I Spy Badge. This allows us to see if there is panels that we can flip up. Anyway, we're gonna leave the map and then come back so we can try to buy some items because we have like 200 coins. Ah, uh, the D Down Pound is good. Group Focus allows all party members to use Focus. Uh, Sleep Slip's not bad. I might actually take that. I believe we have to go two maps over for it to change, but I think the Sleepy Sheep is really good. I can actually look up what badges open up and what he sells. No, not that one. Oh, here we go. Uh, so in Chapter 3... What, available after chapter 3. Uh, group focus, spin smash, jump charge, dodge map. Well, all those things. So we have access to... BD spin, multi-bounce, D down, uh, down pound, special attacks, sleep stump, double dip, which I never seen. Dodge master, jump charge, spin smash, group focus, and that's it. Not bad, but nothing I really need at the moment. I got the one thing we want to try, which I'm going to equip that real quick. I don't want to give it the D down jump, because I don't think anybody in Chapter 4 has defense. And if they do, it kind of doesn't matter. Uh, if anything, I could add Meg Power Rush. What is this Power Rush? Ah, uh, yeah, sure, I'll do that. I thought it was Mega Rush. 
You can also have pit. Uh, you know, actually, what? I'm not gonna do. Oh, we have Mega Rush. Just in the off chance we are in peril, that'd be useful. But we do Ice Bind. I believe how that works is if we go into a map, it would tell us. I think. I don't know. Anyway, if we go into this shop. But he never went in here, but he has actually good items. He's just a witch key. But he gets his access to a lot of things in the storage room. Uh, we get Bolt's Room, Snowman Doll, the Toy Train, and, uh, well, we don't have enough. The Dizzy Doll, I don't really care for. So. I mean, besides, you can buy him in here and you. We technically get the Volt's Room, too. The Volt's Room is not as useful. Is it? Okay, it's not. I thought there was a thing in there. Now, what you're supposed to do is something else. Uh, talk to the thing and you can throw the train in. But yeah, if we talk to this... I thought we could show the guy... Yeah. Looks like we can't... Very well ride on a tiny load of toy train. That's gonna be impossible. Please put that. <laughs> I was always like, I got the train. There it is. Yeah, yeah. If you ever go into your map with that one, it would say, hey, there's a thing in here. And you can just look for it. Alright, if you throw it in there. There we go. Now we have the train up and running. Uh, let's go this way. Take me away. Oh, I, I went the direction. King Station. But yeah, I saw it at uh, Baku Man again, and I just finished season one, so Baku Man 1, because it's like Baku Man 1, Baku Man 2, Baku Man 3. Uh, each one of them are 25 episodes each. And I just finished the last episode and just any interaction with uh, Mio and Mashiro just makes me smile. I love those two. There it is. Yeah, that anime is what kind of like, am I, I don't think I have any Smash video. Oh, not on this channel. But a long time ago, whenever I play Smash Brothers, you know, you guys know how the, you have the tag and stuff you can pay it on. The tag I always used was Mio. It's spelled differently than her, because her name is spelled M I H O. The way I sp uh, spell it is M I O. And that's the reason why I have that. I think I skipped out on accident. I didn't mean to. Oh, another new enemy. Swap party members. Umbalio. Tattle. Medi guy. If these, I think, have healing things. So getting rid of them is like the best. They all have 7 HP. When you sleep stomp. Ow. Ow. Uh, I'm just gonna jump, don't play. Ah, uh, that wasn't enough to kill, sad. Oh yeah, if you pop the balloon... They just become normal shot, guys. Ow. I can't get these timings down. I should get rid of the medic guy just in case. Also, if you kill off everybody and there's like one shot guy, they most of the time will run away. I don't really have HP. Oh, we can kill every land dog jumps. Ah, the first thing I thought I was gonna mess it up. The close is leveling up, so I'm kind of I'm fine with playing on the edge a little bit.
backpack this way. If I get a first strike every single time, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, this is not good. Actually, let's change. But Bombast's not going to do much because uh, two of the enemies are in the air. So I guess we'll go Paracarry. Spell shot. He does sick. That's almost the whole life. Okay, I'm gonna use a super shroom. I I just don't physically have enough. I think. Well, I don't think we have Mega Rush. I think we have the other one up. I don't think we could have lived. Well, actually, we would have lived, but there's a high chance we would have messed that up. Okay, the healing is not good. Uh, I'm just gonna shell shot again. I know we're using up a lot of FP, but what can I do? I kind of don't want to jump because I just didn't want to risk popping this spell. I think I must time that. Now you're making it so I have a high chance of getting the spell again. Actually, I can find out what our damage actually should be. Okay, that didn't help my answer. <laughs> Almost there. I should probably end up the episode now, but I, I just want to do this area and then call it there. Uh, what's in here? Defense plus. It's power plus, but defense. So if I wanted to, I can clip it in and have plus one defense, but uh, no. And we get this sh little bit of shy guy to go across this. Stand right here. Inside we go. I think there'll be another enemy. Jump over him. We don't have to deal with that. I think it's a ice power badge. Ooh. That's really good. Now, I was thinking that is that's a frying tan frying tan. Frying pan, we can give that back to uh what's her face? Uh what is like yeah, the, oops, the ice power badge just makes it so increased attack power against fire enemies by two. Mario won't, be, won't take damage when he jumps on a fire enemy. Okay, so now that allows us to, that it's like the spike shield badge will allows us to jump on spike enemies, but now we can jump on fire enemies. I could I think later there's a badge called fire something that allows us it, I think it's an increased defense against fire. I think for the longest time I thought that was the same thing. I don't know. Alright, with that said and done, next time on Paper Mario, we will continue going through the pink station. And then from there we will well most likely just go back and do some more stuff. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode. We take on some more chapter four. See you guys later.